Thursday, the Vanguard basketball team will make its first Final Four appearance in 35 years and the first by any school in the district in 16 seasons. We're obviously pleased, uh, worked very hard for it, our kids are excited. Uh, you know, when you, when you read the paper and you look at the stats on, uh, you know, Marion County basketball and, and how many teams have actually been, um, it's special. Rather than simply being happy to be there, the Knights have quite a dragon to slay in Thursday's Class 7A state semifinal. We've got a lot of work left to do. Uh, we're going to take it one game at a time. That's the way we've been going. Uh, you know, we played Dillard a year ago uh, in the kingdom and lost by two. And so our kids are actually excited to play Diller. They've been number one in the state all year. Uh, they're huge. They got five of the top players in the senior class in the state of Florida. You know, five Division One signees. Uh, but our kids are absolutely excited about the opportunity. The game is at 3 p.m. Thursday. If you have Spectrum Cable, that's formerly Bright House, you can watch live on Spectrum Sports. It's channel 1147. It's also available on nfhsnetwork.com. A link to the game is in the description below. Or you can make the trip to Lakeland, which it seems everybody at Vanguard is trying to do. It might be a little bit of a ghost town Thursday afternoon. Uh, uh, meeting in the office this morning with our uh, AD and our principal. Multiple teachers were coming in, trying to get the, be the first ones to ask off, so uh, you know they didn't get left here. Um, so it, it'll be it'll be good. Three o'clock's not ideal. Um, you know, obviously for, for a fan base, but it's ideal for us because we're in the Final Four. We could be at school on, at that time. The Knights seem to be doing just fine now, but the future could be a little brighter as the district's new middle school basketball program should pay dividends for the high schools. I know we're behind here in Marion County, so hopefully this will get the ball rolling, running, you know, help with our fundamentals so that we can compete with like Eastside, Lake uh, Gainesville High School. Of course, Vanguard this year beat Gainesville, so that was a good good plus for Marion County. But this is going to help get the fundamentals going for our local high school teams. Basketball is one of four sports being contested at the middle school level. Hoops, volleyball, cross country, and track were all chosen because the infrastructure was already in place. Most of the PE programs uh, across the board pretty much have the, uh, as you mentioned, the facilities and um, the uh, uh, to run a volleyball program or a basketball program, whatever it might be. And for the one or two uh, that maybe didn't quite have everything, we were able to work with a couple high schools and get them uh, the specific types of uh, things that they needed for the program. So there wasn't a need to purchase anything. Um, and, and so it, it's made it pretty you know, pretty easy to transition into into this, and uh, it, it's so far so good. A lot of good reports from the principals, the students participating uh, as well. Turnout's been great. Um, hopefully next year it can even get a little bit better each year, each year to come. But a lot of the away games that we went to, great great support of the parents. Uh, crowds were awesome. Uh, our home games were at MTI. Even we, you know. I had a good turnout as well. The season wraps up this Saturday with the championship tournament at Westport High. Games begin at 8.30 and wrap up with the girls' championship game at 4 and the boys at 5. It's run throughout all day in Westport. They do a great job running the two-gym atmosphere. Um, there's just a constant game going on throughout the whole day. Free throw shooting is one of the fundamentals of basketball, but shooting them is not necessarily an easy thing. Just ask Shaquille O'Neal. Janiah McCoy is a third grader from Ward Highlands Elementary, and she knows that practice makes perfect, or at least pretty darn good. Janiah will be competing in the Southeast Region Hoop Shoot Contest, semifinal March the 18th in Valdosta, Georgia. She did her first um, free throw contest back in December um, at the Blessed Trinity uh, School gym, and she came in first place. Um, she was really excited. Um, because it was kind of different for her. Um, once she did that, she was able to move on to going to Umatilla. She did it at Umatilla as well and came in first place. Um, then she advanced to Tallahassee, which was regionals. With the free throw 
shoot contest. I just thought maybe it would be something fun for her. She'll make it maybe one or two of the moving on, you know, levels. I didn't think it would come this far. Being that her brother that's a really good player, he has also participated in this twice and he's never came this far. He's only made it to the second round. So now she's advancing on to um, Valdosta, Georgia, and she's going up against four other states. So it won't just be Florida um, kids. It's gonna be kids from other states as well. And if she comes in first place, then she goes to Chicago, Illinois. So for you to come this far is a major accomplishment, and you're always going to be number one in my book. Her hard work has paid off in a big way, and we wish you the best of luck, Janaya. Shoot lights out. Friday night is pink out night. We deck the place out pink balloons. We sell all kinds of pink things in the concession stand. We've done this for five years. It started all on a whim. We have kids that, we had a child here that uh, was one of our previous players and her dad had leukemia. So she wanted to play for, for her dad. And so all the kids get to choose a player a person in their family that's been affected, a survivor or have been passed away from cancer. And so any type of cancer. So the kids play in their name. We're gonna pink it out, come play. Crystal River will be here at five o'clock for the five o'clock uh, JV game. And then we'll follow up with a varsity game against Bellevue and everybody will be striking out for cancer. Although the 2017 version of the Southeastern Youth Fair ended its run last week, the hard work and preparation of the participants of the fair provided some fantastic and, of course, cute learning experiences for students of Marion County Public Schools. Well, today is one of three days that we have Ag Ventures going on during um, the week of the Southeastern Youth Fair. Um, but Marion County Farm Bureau and Marion County Schools partner together for this event, and we have over a thousand students that will be coming over the span of the three days to learn about all of the different commodities that we have in the state of Florida, but also in Marion County. Um, and students get exposed to um, all of those different commodities, animals, things that are going on um, that they may not otherwise know is happening if they're not in the agriculture world. So it gives them that exposure. Um, another thing that I'm really excited about is that we have 80 uh, middle and high school students that come here and volunteer and they help lead this program. They're group leaders, they're station helpers, some of them are presenters, and it gives them those um, practice with leadership skills, public speaking. They're a role model for these young students and they can show the young students what can, what their future can hold. They learn um, what a farmer does in a day in the life of. They learn about the animals and what they do for us and how they fit into our lives. and. Um, and it's fun. They, and they get to ask all kinds of questions and get some fun answers and um, you know it's just exposing them to oh the, our, the food that we eat doesn't come from Publix or Walmart or your grocery store. Um, you know it comes from the farmer, it comes from, from the land.